Hi everyone, I'm Ivan from Scotland and today we are going to be checking out Star Wars Bounty Hunter, uh, the remaster that was remastered by Aspear who also did the, um, I'm just thinking, the mobile ports of Knights of the Old Republic uh, 1 and 2 um, and I think they were also down to work on the Knights of the Old Republic remaster before it all kind of got scrapped or like put in limbo forever. Um, but yeah, Star Wars Bounty Hunter is actually one of the few Star Wars games that I didn't play growing up. It came out in, the, the original release was 2002, um, so before Knights of the Old Republic came out, which I think was 2003, uh, before stuff like Republic Commando, which came out a lot later, I think around the time of Revenge of the Sith in 2005. Um, but I think this was released at the same time as your kind of like uh, Jedi Outcast, um, or Jedi Knight Jedi Outcast. Uh, so yeah, I have never played this game and I was very uh, grateful to receive a code um, and I am going to go and check it out and see, see how it is. I imagine you can only do so much with a, a remaster rather than like a full remake, um, but there might be some good nostalgia in store. I'll make myself small. Oh, I'm not going to be able to monetize this with the music. <laughs> okay, that's fine. In the aftermath of the Battle of Naboo, the sword and corruption run rampant throughout the galaxy. Seizing upon this chaos is a mysterious and deadly cult known as the Bandu Gora, whose vicious attacks have nearly crippled the galaxy's most powerful industries. Darth Sidious, recognising this development as a threat to his own sinister plan, has summoned his new apprentice to discuss the matter. Good old Dooku. It's amazing how, like, I, I've not watched a Star Wars film in a wee while. Um, I haven't really watched tons of the Disney stuff. I really liked Andor though, Andor was probably the best bit of Star Wars TV that we've had. Um, but still, like that nostalgia hit when you see the yellow text, it's, it's always good. Genos and shit. Master? Lord Tyrannus, an urgent matter has arisen. It doesn't look too training. bad. The Bando Gora has become a dangerous pet. Like, for a, for a remaster, it like, of like. I believe you once had the opportunity to eliminate its leader. Obviously, you can Why see it's a, a remaster, but it, it looks pretty good. An experiment. The experiment has failed. This deranged former Jedi has no place in my vision for the future. I expect you to correct this error. As you wish. And what of your plan for the clone army? Our cloners require a host. You must find an ideal specimen, perhaps among the galaxy's most dangerous mercenaries. I shall accomplish both of these tasks with a single stroke, Master. Yes, yes. I look forward to completing your training, <laughs> my friend. Imagine if they'd like cloned Greedo and there was just like billion Greedos running about. That would have been funny. Alrighty. There is just something about like Lucas Art games that's just stunning. I mean, like all of my favorite games growing up were Lucas Arts games. All of the Star Wars ones, obviously, um, but Lucas Arts did like. Monkey Island, uh, they did um, 
the did Grim Fandango. Like there was just there was so it was it was just so good. There we go, here we are. Good old Django. Tutorial time. Ow. Chapter 1 Dead or Alive Miko Pit Fight Arena. Smugglers, pirates, mercenaries, and fugitives from across the galaxy take refuge at Outland Station, a seedy interstellar spaceport far from the scrutiny of authorities. Station owner Rosata, an eccentric Toydarian, entertains our nefarious guests in the central arena with popular underworld events such as beast fights. I wonder if there's a lock-on mechanic for this, because that'd be cool. Like, you can lock on and um, jetpack around folk. Don't know if it's going to be as easy as that. Oh my god, there is a lock-on. Nice. <laughs> Look at the jump height, that's amazing. <laughs> okay, my, my old blasters are not doing anything. Lock on's pretty good actually. Oh no, I'm doing damage when it smashes into the, the side, so that's cool. We'll just. Wasn't even aiming for me there. Yeah, man. Classic music in the background. <laughs> Amazing. What is my favourite Star Wars game of all time? So, I think it's got to be Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Like, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 1. I do love 2, and I know that 2 adds a lot to, um, like, the the mechanics and the, the gameplay and all that of 2 is arguably better, but I will just always have a soft spot for 1. Um, 1 is incredible. Okay, walking into corpses knocks you down. Right. I'm guessing we can... Oh, nice! Cool, we've got cutting torch. See, in a modern game, you would have to unlock the cutting torch. Now go back down here. Drop and grab edge. Or just fall to our death. I did say X for that. Okay. Uh what now? Three hours later. Oh my god. You're having a laugh. Oh, that was not very visible. Wait, is this... Is this the way? Oh my god, it's the way. I am a fucking idiot. Cool. Beige. <laughs> Beige floor <laughs> ruined my life. the ladders jump and grab a ledge you can cross gaps jump the height or not just drop <laughs> okay that's not the smoothest Thanks, Rose.
So let's scan. Wanted well, dead or alive. Okay. So we can use this. How do I subdue them? <laughs> bounty hunting can be viewed in the books. Okay, so bounty hunting. Press X on bound targets to claim. Wait, what? Get claimed. What? Why? Okay. <laughs> oh my god, this is not going well. Press X on bound targets to claim. You know what this is utilising? This is utilising the... Um, ah, fuck off. You know Oddworld Stranger's Wrath? That's that stuff. Why can I not claim this fucking guy? Am I doing something wrong again? Hold RT while facing target. Press X on bound targets to claim. Do I need to lock on to him and then claim? No. I have no idea what this is expecting of me. Is it that? Or I can just kill him with a poison dart. That works too. That's kind of annoying. <laughs> it wasn't letting me claim. Okay, we'll just check out this side. Onwards. I'll oh, piss. Oh, fuck. Jesus, there's millions of them. Oh my god, let me lock on, please. Thank you. Nice. It's in here. Some Bacta, that's almost good. Doesn't look like I can open things, so I'm just gonna go on. Fighters training area. Brush up on your technique if you like. Not that you need to. Don't know about that. <laughs> no bounty. I'm guessing I can just kill... I mean, I, 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 I don't know, unless I get penalised for... Oh shit. Unless I get penalised for, like, civilian deaths. I'm guessing most of the bases that I'm going into in this game are for, like, baddies that I can shoot. like I didn't check the other way so I'm gonna run back and do that yeah I mean I think obviously you can only what's that what, what was that <laughs> okay just sure I feel like you can only kind of do so much unless you're doing like a full from the ground up remake I mean it would be it'd be kind of cool but I don't, I don't necessarily see anyone proper clambering for a like a full remake of this game. I would love to see a remake of Republic Commando like a proper like from the ground up version. I think it'd be amazing but I know that that is an absolute pipe dream that's not going to happen. So I must be able to grab onto these things right? No? <laughs> okay. You're telling me that you can't do swing, swinging stuff from them. Oh, come on. Yeah, camera's not being my best friend here. There we go. There we go. 
What about this guy? Can this guy get scanned? No bounty posted, no bounty posted. So am I supposed to like scan every single enemy before, oh god. Every single enemy before I enter a fight? I do like that all of the ones that I shoot kind of catch my... Oh, fuck. Like, he's got two blasters and he, like, he does kind of split the shots. Oh, come on. I just wanted to scan you. No bounty posted. I can combat roll. Which is fun. Does it right over his spine? For some reason. Okay, so that's a locked door. Oh, and I apparently can't jump down. Oh, I can. See, he does, he, he does kind of split his shots automatically, which is fun. Oh, fuck! <laughs> but aside from that, I'm not meaning to do too much. I'm just kind of hold down the trigger. <laughs> What is this? Is this this is just more back to <laughs> I did see there was like a collect like collectibles available uh, in the game that unlocks like concept art and stuff, which I think was something that LucasArts always did well, because I'm pretty sure like even if it was just a like oh progress through the story and then you would unlock some concept art. Cause I remember in the Knights of the Old Republic 2 um, like extras that you got by like completing the game or whatever there was a there was a demo for Republic Commando I must have replayed that demo a million times I was so excited for Republic Commando it was the kind of because it was it was like Halo it was Halo in the Star Wars world that was how I conceptualised it, because I was fucking, like, six or something. <laughs> oh god, he's angry, 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 angry. Whoa, camera movement, fuck! Okay, yeah, it leaves a little bit to be desired there. I'm guessing that stuff there is the collectibles. Like the blue stuff with the sword through it. Oh, that's cool. So we're kind of like dropping down into like a target practice range. That's a good laugh. <laughs> what happens when the targets start shooting back? Get right. Okay, there's a lot. Of nice. There we go. No match for a good blaster. I killed an enemy with a blaster. Oh, I picked a new gun up. Okay. Fun. Right, where to now? Can't get up there. Must be able to get up here. Guessing I can shoot this. Oh, I don't know what that is. Looks like an, up like an upgrade or something. Grappling hook? No? No, doesn't look like it. Oh, come on. There's there's no forgiveness if you don't jump before you leave the platform. So, there we go. I always find that jumps feel a lot better when they've got that little bit of, like, Give. Like in Celeste, for example, when you're, uh, when you like, you know, you can be a couple of pixels off of a proper jump spot before you. Oh god! Oh no! <laughs> oh Jesus! Oh, there's so much death. <laughs> oh, 
Poor little beast. It'd be cool if there was a way to free him, actually. I get the feeling that that was a bounty that I was supposed to collect. Can't scan a dead body. Typical. Okay, we'll try and not upset the beast too much. Although it doesn't look like I can go anywhere else. Okay, can't get up there. And slide down there. I was gonna say, do I need to like wind the beast up? Oh. found my first secret. Oh. Free, so true. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was an abrupt end. Uh, dead or alive, Miko, I obviously killed all of my... Wait, hold on. I didn't capture any of the bounties? I mean, yeah, I suppose. Dead or alive, Miko, Merchant Row, a maze of streets and alleys surrounding the fighting arena. Merchants trade their wares, mercenaries scout for jobs, and everyone else merely tries to make their way in the universe. You're a bounty hunter, right? For a little money, maybe I can take you to him. <laughs> take me and maybe I won't blast you. Okay, take it easy. I'll do it, but they'll kill me if they see me bringing you along. Maybe if you follow behind, you know, keep your distance. <laughs> Tail mission. Right, so, bounty hunting, you scan them, you then have to mark them, ah, uh, that's maybe what I did wrong. Okay, so bounty marked. Right, so you have to you have to mark them. That's very annoying. <laughs> Cause I technically I had I had identified them. Okay, at least I know how to do it now. That's good. Only thing is I'll spend the majority of the game in this screen whenever I encounter like NPCs. <laughs> Django's little jog. It's funny. Oh. Triple pain, the one who kills that hunter. So hold on, am I I'm not supposed to be scanning these people. This is just like blast them. I just I think I just killed my little pal, my my escort mission pal. Oh. Nice. Oh. <laughs> just like, yeah, that works. Okay, we'll we'll see. I like that we've got automatic doors. We'll cut this. Oh shit, you can just batter someone. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Okay, so... Just want to check if that door opened or not. Okay, so that door doesn't open, we're going to cross. Cool. Onwards. Oh, 
Oh, piss. She was telling the truth. There is no price on her head. Neither of these doors open. Hmm. Nah, this must be the way, right? Oh, what the fuck? Where did he come from? It's hard to tell what area of the game is like signposted for progression. <laughs> like this could be an entirely secret area and I would just be none the wiser. Okay, so if we go back across here, that kind of looks like a, a door that would be handy, but like, nah. Bounty posted. And that's a friendly character. I get the feeling that we don't need to go down here. Huh? And there's no way we need to run back this far. It's got to be in here, right? Sorry, so much of this has just been... Like... Me trying to find out where to go. I have no idea what that is. It looks like footsteps or something. Maybe it's like stealth. I don't know. Probably not. Okay, so these guys just like respawn. I can hear a door, but... Oh my god. There must be a reason that the enemies here are respawning though, right? Instead. Don't get between a bounty hunter and his kills. Is that oh, for fuck's sake. You're joking. <laughs> I mean, I'm guessing that wasn't in the original, the, the ability, but there is like quality of life stuff like, oh, press X. I didn't know I could interact with that fucking door panel. I want my jetpack back. Jetpack back. Because that would be pretty useful. Uh. Okay. No bounty, no bounty. What about these guys? Did these guys have bounty? No bounty. Does this guy have bounty? Yes! Oh shit, sorry, I didn't mark you first. Fuck! Fuck! <laughs> fucking stupid. Yeah, I mean, 
I think this will probably tickle the nostalgia of people who played the original, because um, you'll be familiar with the the jank, or at least the oh, you have to mark people and and stuff like that. Feel like it's maybe a little bit tougher for like an entry level person, but if you're interested in Star Wars, you're absolutely well, like do, you know, you'll make you'll have a good time with that, I think. Everybody's dead. Uh, can I? Yeah, I can. Nice. Jump there. Jump there. <laughs> Do that very weird flip. It's weird that the like the lock on can be a little bit temperamental, just in terms of like the distance that you can lock on from. That and the camera is just like shite. <laughs> can I like m I can no I cannot make that jump. I don't know how you're supposed to quickly scan all these enemies when it's so much more fun just running through and blasting them. I hope the credits aren't like essential for like upgrades and progression. They do seem kind of secondary, so. I mean, obviously, I can go into aim mode, but that's. <laughs> I like the fall, though, that's good. It's a very Star Wars fall, isn't it? Oh! <laughs> That's pretty funny. Can the crime families stop being cunts for five minutes? I think I'm just getting, like, infinitely spawned enemies at this point. <laughs> Ah, uh, still falling, that's funny. Okay, no, we're moving on. Oh, fucking hell. Okay. Okay. Just corridors of people to kill. <laughs> 2002 gaming, baby. Okay, so... What the fuck? What the fuck? How are you up there? <laughs> oh my games. What a good laugh. Come on, come on. Ah, there we go. I feel like you're gonna see that animation quite a lot. <laughs> As I round the corner and have to do it again immediately. <laughs> Good stuff. No, no, I'll accept five hundred, no less. Five hundred for a used delivery speeder? You're crazy. It's not worth more than two fifty. It's in great shape. Runs like new. It's an SB three for crying out loud. Think of how much you could haul with it. <laughs> Stolen. I can offer three hundred, but that's it. Three fifty. All right, all right, three fifty. Yeah. I want my money back. You bought it, pal. It's your problem now. Maybe you could go after him with this jetpack. I'll make you a deal. I don't have any money left. How about you? Give me that. Interested in a jetpack? Barely a scratch on it. It'll look great with that battle armor. It's the same color, even. I'll take that off your hands. Uh, how much are you offering? 
your life. <laughs> hey, <laughs> I just found the thing. Don't shoot me. Take it. Miko's probably still hiding somewhere in Merchant's Row in that stolen speeder. LB to use jetpack. Okay. We're jump jetting, so. I mean, yeah. <laughs> oh no. Eh? No, fuck off. Ah. jumping come on did you see that did you see that okay eh? I did not mean to try and get that thing Okay, so, yeah, mechanics of the jetpack are kind of funky, but they work. Okay, back to... More back to... Kill that guy. Pop up here. Pop up here. Grab that. So we're chasing thingy, just corridors and corridors of enemies. <laughs> that is the beige. <laughs> ah, fuck. Okay. Oh, come on. How can you grab hold of that one, but you can't grab hold of the other one? Okay, up and across, and there we go. There's the speeder. Get back here. I like how the speeder kind of politely goes up the platforms that we go as well. Is this not the start of the... Yeah, this is. This is we're back to the start of the fucking level. Where we can now go up here because we've got the jetpack. Oh, fuck. Where am I supposed to go through here? Oh, maybe maybe just down. Because there's a panel to cut. You're taking the pass, right? No, no, I can go up. Duh. Guessing I can just go down. I mean, this is kind of cool. Oh, the lock-ons didn't really dirt me here. <laughs> oh, 
crash the speed of uh. He's not here, is he? Or is that him? No. As remasters go, there's various tiers of remaster. You're gonna get um, games that are like full on remakes, which I'd say are different than remasters. Remasters, personally, what makes a remaster for me is you are updating a game. It doesn't even have to be visually, but there's, there's got to be like kind of modern quality of life, whether it's controls or, um, you know, like just like you know, input things, subtitles, that kind of, that kind of stuff. Um, and I feel like this is just a very much, can we get this game running on a kind of modern, uh, like PC or whatever. So, um, take from that what you will in regards to your, your investment. If you want to go and play the game and you've played this back when you were a kid or whatever, and you fancy playing it, go for it. You'll have a good time with it. You'll relive a little bit of nostalgia. Uh, and you'll move on, and it's up to you to decide what your price point is for that. Um, me, on the other hand, it's like I've never played this before, so there's maybe an element of like this game is a little bit jank, the camera's a little bit funky. I don't know how the original actually played, so I maybe need to like just check. Um, but yeah, that was a uh, Star Wars Bounty Hunter. It's available now on Steam, uh, and you can go and check it out for yourself. But anyway, catch you in a bit, folks. Bye bye.